interest. Let's look at the lecture outline. We'll start with the definition of discounting and how it works. Discounting is compounding in reverse. As we have seen so far, we pick an investment at the time it was made. Then we are looking at how much we are going to get in the future, say two years or three years afterwards. Discounting is being given the figure in the future after it has been compounded from the time it was invested. And now seeing how much it was invested or the original principal that was put into the investment. You will start with a future amount and convert into a present value. So the present value is how much you will need to put in an investment to earn a particular amount in the future. So for example, you have been told that in five years, your child's university education will cost $50,000. If the interest rate from now to the five years is less than 20%. So you need to know how much that $50,000 in five years time is worth now it will enable you to know how much to invest so that if it is compounded annually or semi-annually or whatever the compounding period is at that interest rate it will give you that fifty thousand when the five years is due so basically you want to know how much future cash flows are worth in today's money terms ideally the formula for discounting when you want to know the present value of a future amount is the future value that you have been given divided by one plus r all raised to the power n so where pv is the present value how much a future amount will value in present circumstance fv is the future value the amount that you are trying to discount into today's terms r is the rate of interest n is the number of time periods that you are ruling or discounting back if you want to know how much fifty thousand in five years time will value today the number of periods will be five if it has been compounded annually if it's been compounded semi-annually it will be 10. so let's test our understanding a business is to receive hundred dollars in a year's time and the interest rate or discount rate is 10 percent so what is the present value of that money so even first january 2024 i want to know how much hundred dollars at first january 2025 will worth now the formula if you state it again pv being equal to the future value divided by one plus r or raised to the power n the present value will be hundred dollars which is the future value divided by one plus 0 0.1 0 0.1 being 10 percent 10 divided by 100 or raised to the power one it will give you 100 divided by 1.1 which is 90.9 so this 90.9 if you compound it once in a year by 10 percent you are going to get hundred dollars you can try it and see another test of understanding this a business is to receive 500 dollars in five years time and the interest rate or discount rate it's 20 percent what is the present value of that money again we'll state the formula present value be equal to the future value divided by one plus r raised to the power n so the present value will be $500, which is the future value, divided by 1 plus 0 0.2, which is the discount rate 20%, 20 over 100, all raised to the power of 5, which is the 5 years that the $500 is worth. It will give you 500 divided by 1.2 raised to the power of 5, which is equivalent to $347.22. So $500 in 5 years' time is equivalent to $347.22 dollars 22 cents now so if you want 500 dollars in five years at 20 percent interest rate you would have to invest 347.22 dollars let's look at a discount rate now the present value can be worked using a discount rate the discount rate for a number of years for any discount has a, a rate that you can just multiply to the principal the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus r raised to the power n. So r is the rate of interest, n is the number of periods. So the discount factor for 10% in 3 years is 0.751. You just multiply the future value by 0.751 and it will give you the present value. You can also use the discount rate tables. So you have the row 
being the rate. We have 1 to 10 above. We have 11 to 20. Then the vertical one being the column, being the number of years. So if you want to know the discount rate of an investment in five years' time at 10%, how much it will be worth now? It will be 0 0.621. When you multiply it to a future value, it will give you the present value. An investment of 15% in three years' time, the discount rate will be 0 0.658. Okay, so you can just refer to this table, multiply by the future value, and you get the present value. So when we test our understanding, what is the present value of the following received at the end of three years using the cost of capital of 9%? So the cost of capital is the, the discounting rate. So $300, $600, and $1,000. So three years using cost of capital of 9%. You can use the formula to find the discount rate, which is 1 divided by 1 plus R raised to the power N. So it will give you... 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.09 raised to the power 3, which is 1 divided by 1.09 raised to the power 3. So the discounting factor will be 0 0.7722. So when you come to the solution, the present value of $300 in three years' time is $231.66, which is $300 times 0 0.7722. That of $600 in three years' time will be $463.32. Then that of $1,000 will be $772.22. Alternatively, if you come to the discount rate, 9% in three years' time is 0 